The phoenix of Coney Island has risen from the ashes of the pandemic. Let's ride. the theme park foodies and we're here at the world famous Coney Island Boardwalk to ride what Sam? The Phoenix. Yes and there's a reason they call it the Phoenix. They picked that name because it represents Coney Island rising from the ashes of the pandemic to, to roar to come back to what it once was before the pandemic hit. Yeah right? so they actually had purchased the land for it and had decided they wanted to add a family thrill ride at the end of 2019 mm -hmm. and then the pandemic hit but they decided to still go forward with the plans Yes. because actually the uh, famous uh, Wonder Wheel actually also came on the heels of the Spanish, Spanish flu. flu. Exactly. So this is like another attraction. Yeah uh, the, the manufacturer of this roller coaster is Vacoma and it's uh, it's very much, uh, or I, what I, from what I hear is, it's kind of like a clone of the uh, roller coaster, the new roller coaster at Dollywood, the which Star is called Flyer Star Flyer in yes. Wildwood Grove. Which actually we've, we've the, the family um, that owns Pony Island actually went to Dollywood to yeah. check out the Star Flyer and see if it, you know something that they wanted to add to their park. Yeah, no, and it's uh, it's supposed to be like a You're like suspended. a family friendly suspend, yeah, floorless suspended coaster. I'm excited to check it out for sure. We definitely enjoyed Starflyer when we were at Dollywood. And if you've seen some of our recent videos, we ha do have some Dollywood content if you want to check it out. Although we didn't show ourselves riding Starflyer in it. Uh, yeah, so. Also, the what? first 100 people today at the official opening get a free uh, t shirt oh, no and way. a free ride. The ride is free too. So we're trying to be the first 100 people. It's about 9 30 yeah, right now. I've been cutting ceremonies at 10 30. I think yeah. the park officially opens at 11. Yeah. But I think that we're good. It doesn't seem too crowded. It doesn't yet, seem too so crowded. So we're going to. We're riding for free. Yeah, I hope <laughs> so. We're going to go lock our spot online and uh, we'll let you guys know how it goes and what you think. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our day here at Coney Island. We actually showed this roller coaster and they actually did have a soft opening yeah, a few, a few days, days ago. ago. But you could see kind of like the layout of Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park right here. And it is mostly uh, kiddie rides at Dino's. So Luna yeah. Park has the more thrill rides. Yes. So it is nice that they are kind of adding something a little more exciting to this park. They do have a few dark rides in uh, in Dino's as well that the I Spookarama. enjoy. Yes, they're, they're <laughs> all classic, you know, nothing special, but classic dark rides. Let's get our spot online. What I always, what well, I'm not really a, a big fan of, which I understand why they do it, are these giant cages in front of all the rides here at yeah, Coney Island. Yeah, it's hard to get like good pictures and footage yeah. when everything's surrounded by cages. Yeah. It looks like there's probably about like less than 20 people online right now. Yeah, no. Uh, right to the left of us too, this is the Luna Park area. We did the Thrill Seeker wristband when they first opened up. No longer need to wear a mask or anything, but if you want to check out that video. If you're vaccinated. Yes, if you're vaccinated. And this park is just kind of just tickets. You don't do, they don't do a wrist, they don't offer a wristband here. Yes. It's only like ticket packages. Yes. Sam was saying it's literally right next to the wheel. Almost like you're going to fly into the wheel. I've heard that when you're on it and you're making that turn, it actually looks like you feel like you're about to not I could see that. Wheel. Yeah. I'm assuming this is the line, so yeah, I'm excited. Opening day. <laughs> you can see they have the ribbon right here for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Definitely want to get a shot of that. They have a DJ playing. This is a big thing here for Coney Island. Finally roaring back after the big pandemic. Alright, so we're probably like ninth or 10th online, so we're definitely within the first 100. So I'm thinking we're going to get that t-shirt. And a free ride. Yes. Which I think is like 10 bucks We should be on like the first or second train, so. Yeah. They're running the first train right now. Definitely should be on one of the first ones. It definitely looks a lot like Starfly. Let's see, uh... Dino Jr. This is his project. He's both interviewing. The whole new, all the news organizations here. Ribbon cutting ceremony is about two minutes.
Come on, up. Oh, Grab it. Oh, we wouldn't have been able to get it with them without you. No worries. Hey, we didn't see They're doing a celebrity ride first. So these are all the politicians and celebrities. And you can actually see what I got right there. All right, we're heading in, Sam. They finally let all us right. in. Pass the, Pass the ribbon. Thank you all for coming. We really appreciate your patience and your dedication. Thank you for coming. You got a lot Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Enjoy. let's head on. Just so you guys know, it's 10 credits per person if you get that uh, card. All right, Sam, I think we're going to be on the first train. All right, here we go. Sam, we rode the Phoenix. We were the first first train to go off. We're gonna get our free shirt now, and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. It was a lot of fun. All right, there are the shirts. We're about to get ours. Phoenix is not coming soon. It's here now. We just rode it. They have a uh, fresh asphalt actually right over there. And it's uh, if you're in the section, the Dino's Wonder Wheel amusement park section, it's actually right uh, to the left if you're passing Spookorama going uh or right or left of Spookorama. It's like a Thursday at Nathan's is the time to go. There's no line here. Sam and I are definitely gonna grab it's like a dream for me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely no line here. Grab some food. Alright so we got the chicken sandwich, I got the cheese fries and then the dogs. It's good about the hot dogs here is that the buns toasted so all right Sam what do you think of the Phoenix? I thought it was awesome. It's such a great addition. Yeah. The Coney Island in general, like they really needed something smooth because everything else beats you up. It's the <laughs> smoothest ride here for sure. Uh, if except for I would say uh, the Cyclone, I think that probably probably my second favorite. Yeah, definitely. Coaster-based ride attraction here. Although I do like Thunderbolt, it is a little bit rough of a ride, and it's a perfect in-between rides for kids that are getting just to that age. If I can compare it to another coaster, Starflyer at Dollywood, right? Yeah. Made by the same manufacturer, obviously Vacoma, which they actually brought that up. Uh, I also wanted to say we got. The t-shirt. Free uh, ride, a free t-shirt. Yeah. It was a great day. First 100, and I think we were we were on the first train. Yeah. And yeah, we, we got- We were like 11th in line, 11th and yeah. 12th, I think. It's really cool that they did that too. So we they got to a, ride the coaster for free. It was a really nice ceremony. It was nice to see the family that owns it. It was nice yeah. to see the singer, which is like an ode to the arts, which is a really big thing in New York City. Yeah, and, Brooklyn. You know, the arts were shut down for so long. Yeah. You know, things are coming back. I would back. consider amusement parks it's a form of art as well. Yeah, you know? I mean, New York was hit so hard. If you think where we were at this time last year, yeah, you know, they weren't open like uh, Six Flags and Hershey. They, yeah. you know, they lost their whole season. So yeah, everything it's nice was to see them be able to come back. Yeah, 100%. And I'm happy we were here for it. So if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube al algorithm, help other people see it. If <laughs> you enjoyed the video, we do this every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. So hit the oh, subscribe take a button. Pick my line. Oh, uh, when do we do this, Sam? <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> Monday, Thursday, 12 p.m. Hit the bell notification so that way. You're notified when we have new videos. Sometimes we do more than two. Yes, this is actually gonna be an extra one this week. So Bonus vid. Yes, we do two or three every week. We haven't missed one yet. We're coming up in our one year. So <laughs> that's less uh, than a week. Yeah, it's this coming Wednesday. I uh, wonder what we'll be releasing that day. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, this is definitely better than, than La Tambola. <laughs> Video isn't over yet. I didn't bring up the chicken sandwich. <laughs> that chicken sandwich at Nathan's was so good. I Nine out of ten. I not anything about that sandwich Yeah, before. yeah, no. I, I should have... I, I felt obligated to bring it up here. But remember, 
get the chicken sandwich. I'm not sure if it's just a Nathan's of Coney Island chicken sandwich thing or if they have that chicken sandwich everywhere. Well, was it hot honey? No, it was just, I just got the southern chicken sandwich. Oh, I thought it was hot honey. Yeah, no. I made that up. Okay. Yeah, no, it was really good. Sam had it too, nine out of 10, right? Yeah. Yeah, really good chicken sandwich. Get the chicken sandwich. And we've uh, we've done a Coney Island snack crawl before. We'll put that in the description so you guys can check that out. So this is the real end to the video. Don't count the days. We'll make, we'll make the, the days, days count. count. And uh, hopefully La Tambola gets better. <laughs>